continue our study of calculus with looking at the derivative, which is a real milestone. There are many uses that will be used. It's a fundamental part of calculus. We have a formula for it, the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x. Hopefully you say, this looks sort of familiar. Notice we have the prime in place of the f of x. So we have f prime of x. Alternate notations are dy dx, y prime, derivative of f of x with respect to x, the dy with respect to x. So we want to use a derivative to write the equation of the tangent line to our curve. So f of x equals x cubed. Let's begin by finding f of x plus delta x. We replace x here, so we have x plus delta x cubed. If we expand this, we have x cubed plus 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed. Now from this, we're going to subtract f of x. f of x is simply x cubed. So these two cancel. So our derivative then is going to be 3x squared delta x plus 3x delta x squared plus delta x cubed all divided by delta x and when you take the limit of this as delta x approaches 0. So if we cancel out we're left with 3x squared plus 3x delta x plus delta x squared. We take the limit of this as delta x approaches 0. Notice this term has a 0 in it and this term. So our result then is 3x squared. Because we're looking at the point x equal 2, 8, let's replace 3x squared. Let's put x equal to 2 in there. So we have 3 times 2 squared, 3 times 4 equals 12. Therefore, the slope of our tangent line is 12 when x equal 2. So if we use our familiar equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, we have y minus our y value was 8 equals the slope times x minus 2. Simplifying, we have y equals 12x minus 24 plus 8. So y equals 12x minus 16 will be our tangent line for the curve.